Lord, help us to seek justice, to love mercy, to walk humbly with you, O God, all our days. Amen. Whenever this passage uh, from the Gospel of Matthew comes up, I'm, I'm always, I always get a little bit of a chuckle. And uh, I should, well, I should back up just to say real quick, if anybody's, for anybody who's not familiar, we have a three-year cycle of readings that we do in the Episcopal Church. So, so this, on this day three years ago, we had the same Gospel reading we have today. And, and then three years from now, we'll have it again. It goes around and around. So, Every time this reading comes up in the cycle, I get a little bit of a chuckle because it always struck me as as Jesus is trying really hard to just throw parable after parable at the disciples as quickly as he can in the hopes that they get one of these and uh, and that one of them just clicks for them. And it reminds me of the first job I ever applied for. And the person who was interviewing me asked me, what was my my greatest strength that I brought to the table. And I told him uh, very quickly, I was like, well, I'm a hard worker and I'm super loyal and I learn really quickly and I'm punctual and I follow instructions very carefully. At which point he had a little bit of laugh and said, you know, by following instructions very quickly, uh, carefully, he asked for one strength and I gave him five. So, <laughs> and so I always think of that when I think of Jesus because it could seem like Jesus is a little scattered here and doesn't quite know how to make sense of the kingdom of heaven. But I don't, I don't think that's what's happening. Honestly, I think what's happening, it helps for us to remember that we are the children of God, made in the image of God. If we're made in the image of God, then we have to, by our very nature, we have to have a personal, intimate relationship with the kingdom of heaven. And... And so I think what Jesus really wants us to see is that we are always participating in the kingdom of heaven on multiple levels at the same time. It's not just that the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed and it's very tiny but will grow and mature. It's not just like it is the leaven that you put in the bread so it rises and feeds everyone. It's not just the, the draft of great fish and the abundance of blessing. And it's not just the pearl of great value that when you've got it, you, you, you hold onto it. And you love. It's all of those things all happening at the same time, intimately interacting with us at all aspects of our lives. That's what it means to be the kingdom of heaven when you are the children of God made in the image of God. It's all of it. And we can look around and I just want to just take a few, give you a few practical examples. The mustard seed. Just last week, I asked, uh, and you may remember, I asked folks, if you'd be willing to go and, and be like a prayer partner for someone else, uh, to just take some phone numbers and call people at the church, just to say, hey, I'm a member of St. Stephen's, you are too, and I just, I just wanted to let you know I'm praying for you. It seems so little. In, in, in comparison with all of the vast need out there and all of the hardship and how and all of the trials of this world, just calling up a stranger on the phone just to say, hey, I'm praying for you, seems so insignificant. But it's not. It's not. I have had, uh, in just a 10 or so folks that have been making some phone calls, I've had people coming to me and saying just how much that has meant to them to have another person write them a note or call them on the phone, maybe even a stranger, just just to say, I'm thinking about you. For some people in our community, it has made the world a, a world of difference this week. It's changed their whole week. It's changed their whole day. So what seems like a tiny, insignificant thing in a moment, when it gets planted, it can grow and mature in ways that are beyond what we expected. I promise you the same thing is going to happen when we get in the church and we're having our in-person services. And, you know, a few people I gave a chuckle when I said, we need camera people. We need we have a we now need a camera in ministry in the church where people are going to come and use an app on a phone to operate the cameras. And again, it seems it seems not churchy enough. Like, how does that bring glory to God? But 
It's like a little mustard seed that's going to get planted, and it's going to allow us to worship together in person again. It's going to allow us to continue to create opportunities to gather with people who are on the other side, halfway across the country, people who are trapped in their homes and can't come out right now, and we can gather together as community in ways that we would not be able to if not for somebody just taking that little, that little seed and saying, yeah, I can, I can operate a camera. That's easy. I can do that. What happens when we do that is it is like the leaven that goes in the bread. We don't just support that one person that we called on the phone. We inspire them, and they're more likely to join in and reach out to some other people, write some notes, call some other people. When you go and you, and you serve right now at Southeast Texas Food Bank or some other place, where they're really struggling for volunteers right now because because most of their traditional volunteers, it's not safe for them to come. And so they're really hurting for folks. And you might think, well, what's just one hour of my time? That doesn't seem like that's going to amount to much. But it's like leaven. You knead it into the dough and it causes... It causes it to expand. It inspires other people. It touches other lives. Those people then go and touch other lives as well. I could continue to give you example after example of ways in which you can do this. But what I want you to do is I want you to find that thing for you. What's your connection to how you're going to be a part of the kingdom of heaven? What's that pearl of great value? See what I did there? Pearl of great value. Pearl of great value for you. What's that thing where you say, yes, that is how I'm inspired to be a part of making a difference in the world around me? This would be a great time if you've got time on your hands, if you've been on the fence about joining something like EFM, Education for Ministry. That's absolutely what that program is for is to spend time studying with other people, reading the scripture, studying theology together with a group uh, to help you discern how do I want to be a part of making the kingdom of heaven a reality around me? How do I want to be a part of making a difference? And EFN can help you figure that out. Another great thing to do is go to the Iona School. The Iona School meets at Camp Allen once a month and they have certificate programs to be a to be a lay preacher or certificate programs to be a worship leader, start a missional community, or even be a deacon. The Iona School is about helping you discern what is that pearl of great value for you? How can you be a part of going out and making a difference? And so right now I want to say to anybody, uh, everybody, uh, if I want to be a partner with you to help you figure out What is that connection for you? What's that thing for you that inspires you? And how can we explore it together? Um, So reach out to me. Be in contact. Let me know that you want to be a part of the discussion because I want to be a part of helping you with that. Together, what we figure out is we take all those little mustard seeds, all those little things that don't seem like they amount to much by themselves. But when we together are all doing it, it changes the world around us. We are in a completely different world than we were three years ago. Last time we had this Bible reading. You look back three years, it's very different, isn't it? The ministries we're called to now aren't the ministries we were called to then. And three years from now, I promise you, things are going to be different than they are right now. And three years from now, the ministries we're going to be called to then are going to have changed again. But what we will find is that like a draft of great fish, We draw in our nets. We will be overwhelmed with the abundance of blessing around us because it's something that we've all participated in together. And when we do that, when we do that, we literally are, as children of God, in the image of God, participating in making the kingdom of heaven happen all around us. So thanks be to God. And thanks to all of you for being a part of this with us. Amen.